Okay, thought I'd just give you a quick update uh, with the uh, speed of the hydraulics. Um, I changed it yet again. Found a place uh, that was close by that uh, actually is in the business of uh, doing hydraulics design and so forth. And they were nice enough to uh, come up with the, uh, the right pump. And uh, <clears throat> before, uh, when I showed you the last video, um, if you notice, it was pretty fast. <laughs> well, it was a little too fast. Uh, what was happening is um, I was getting um, some uh, friction in the hoses because of uh, the amount of speed that I was running the, uh, the oil at, and uh, it was getting pretty hot. And uh, they told me that uh, when you have heat created like that, uh, there's friction, and all that means is that you're losing the uh, advantage, the maximum advantage of uh, the hydraulics. So redesigned it and came up with a new pump and um, it's 20 percent faster than stock instead of 35 it's right around about 20 and uh, it works very well and um, it doesn't heat up anymore uh, the oil stays uh, at the correct temperature and um, the controls work nice uh, before they were very touchy um, and sometimes they would even stick open so the fluid was just running just a little too quickly so I'll uh, give you a quick demo here on uh, how it's running I think it's running pretty good I, I, I think it's just about perfect uh, you know between speed and uh, I was throwing the dirt <laughs> with that uh, that last one I was pretty much uh, throwing the dirt all over the place, but let me get it started and I'll just run you through it a little bit. There's the gauge. Uh, I'm going to run it right around about 2400 as you can see. 2400. This will just give you an idea. I'll uh, get the machine over this way. Kind of hard for me to see the uh, to see the uh, screen here because I got the light in behind me. But here you go. And if you counted that, you're counting about uh, about uh, six seconds. Um, it's about eight seconds uh, coming down. It's a little slower, but you get an idea. And you hear how fast it popped out of uh, or popped into bypass. Just that fast little squeak, uh, but with the other pumps, you notice that the uh, that lasted a lot longer. So they've got it right about where it's supposed to be. It's nice and just a nice speed right now. Now watch the curling of the bucket. See how much faster. And this is only again we're only at 2,400. So see. going pretty good and again here's the uh, the bucket swing go back the other way yeah, that last little bump that was me trying to hit it a little too quick here it's kind of hard to do it with only one hand Give you an idea, speed. Give you an idea, I'll, I'll do two functions at one time. Kind of hard again. There's my up and down. Pretty good. Only 2,400 RPMs. And then I'll show you the my test here. Okay. Watch how fast it comes up. And again. See if I can show you my hand at the same time. Okay, let me go like this. Alright. You ready?
Ready? About a half a second delay. That's it. Watch it now. About a half a second delay. Look at that. And you don't hear the engine laboring too much. It's going about how fast it's supposed to go. Bring it back down again. Okay, now watch it. I'll put it up this way. There we go. Okay. Let me outstretch it. There's two functions at one time there. Alright, there's the bucket fully extended out. Alright, here we go. There we go. Well, that gives you an idea the speed of the machine now. And if you notice, I just had these things just laying on top. I'm just using my uh, um, jack posts, that's what I call them, and it's working real well. They, uh, they work good on the grass, so you don't dig up the grass with the, uh, with the uh, outriggers. So there you have it. That's the new pump. So working real well. Um, I'm really happy with it now. It's it's at the right speed. Uh, before it was a little too slow, went a little too fast. I cut it back. Um, they were real good. I mean, they were handing me pumps every day until I found one that worked correctly. And uh, then we calculated the difference between the original one, uh, the volume. They tested it, and uh, with the volume of that one and the volume of uh, the one that we found uh, worked the correct way, was approximately 20 percent. So it's a 20 percent increase, and that seemed to be the uh, the right formula. Where it's not, um, it's not uh, taking and um, running so fast that uh, <laughs> you're you're tossing the dirt around. That was really what was happening. Which just which just way too fast. But there you have it. It uh, all seems to be all tied together now. Everything seems to be working well, and uh, no issues. So. Just keep it greased, keep it well greased uh, with the pin greaser and uh, shouldn't have any problem with it. All right, well, if anything changes, uh, I'll get back at it. Um, any questions, uh, drop me a, a message and I'll be uh, glad to answer any questions. That, uh, that was one of the, uh, the gripes that uh, repeatedly uh, kept uh, coming up on... Uh, on this machine that it was a little slow and at first it's okay while you're in your learning curve but once you uh, get to the point where you can operate pretty good it is slow <clears throat> so this speeds it up uh, you know 20 percent you may not think about it but um, a lot of time you're on there you're manipulating the hydraulics and 20 percent uh, is a substantial increase in time so it's quite a quite a time saver um, the way that the new pump is designed, the other one was a, was a deli. Um, the way this pump is designed, um, it's got a sharper cutoff um, where the other one, um, you'd get it up and it would, it, it, it started uh, 
uh, squawking or squealing, and uh, as you held it, the, you know, the squeal would get louder. This one, you hear it for maybe maybe a quarter of a second, and it goes right into bypass because the volume has been increased. The nice thing is that you can run this around 2,400 RPMs. Um, it digs just fine. Uh, you don't have to listen to the you know, high RPMs on the engine and vibration and that. So uh, I think it's a good mix. I, th I think that uh, we finally got uh, the pump problem solved uh, with, this, uh, with this unit as far as getting a little bit more productivity out of it. Um, also, uh, it's, it's a lot nicer to be able to uh, use uh, two uh, functions simultaneously. Three, I notice it's suffering, uh, but two functions you can do uh, um, uh, pretty easy. So, all right, there you have it. Uh, hope this helped, and uh, let me know if you got any questions.